going to record share the lecture please come on the uh, here beta we are over here now you can see this, you can see that our first variable is stationary at first difference is stationary at first difference this is a better first difference for example you want to see for example you want to see the first difference form you can uh, you can click click here spreadsheet no again unit process beta please go to the view unit root test first difference intercept other thing no never check anything this result now you want to see the data of uh, first difference you can see here d into this variable this is the first difference first difference hota kya beta that is the change in yt change in yt kya hota hai beta yt minus yt minus 1 current value minus previous value that is the difference that is the first difference samjha rahi hu beta baat ki second difference is difference ka difference beta डिफरेंस का डिफरेंस ओके इज ओके फर्स्ट डिफरेंस फर्स्ट यू अंडरस्टैंड द फर्स्ट डिफरेंस यू हैव डन दिस वन यू कैन सेव दिस रिजल्ट यू कैन सी हियर यू प्लीज गिव नेम कंट्रोल ऑफ करप्शन डिस्प्ले नेम फॉर लेबलिंग एस्टिमेट आई सेट ओके Okay, but ah, no result are very clear over here. Okay, no, come on the second variable. Second variable of, is over here. Right. please go to the view unit root test first on level it is you can see this one at level this is non stationary has a unit rule problem because t statistics value is less than the tabulated value at any level of significance second one is probability value is greater than even it is greater than 10% what is 10% 0.10 this one is greater than 0.10 so we except h not gdp growth has a unit rule problem now again go to view unit rule test oh what name is missing unit rule test first difference everything is clear now it is stationary at all level of significance because t statistics value is greater than the tabulated value at any level of percentage so we reject h not that is there is no unit rule problem in gdp in at first difference so gdp growth is stationary at first difference that is d into gdp growth 
Getting the point? That is so easy. Now you want to see it's we uh, we are going to spread the sheet. This is a data sheet, madam. You can do again unit two test. First difference. This outcome is over here. You can see here, beta. At level, it is no. It is a non-stationary. You can see. You can check here graph. You can see here the graph. Graph has no trends. Graph has no trends. So we take, therefore, we take unit two test at first difference because level pe beta koi kisi kisam ka bhi yahan pe trend nahi hai. Isliye hum first difference pe specialty check karte hain. Ye hamare first difference pe outcome hai. I want to see the graph. Oh, no, my dad. You better. This difference ka graph nahi aara. Is okay. You leave it. No problem. So second variable is stationary at first difference. Now we are going to. You can better also. You can save it. You can give one. You can first cross that the other way. But a model is here for your better understanding. Augmented Dicky Fuller का model क्या है बेटा यहाँ पे यहाँ पे dependent variable क्या है is here dependent variable. The difference of GDP growth is the dependent variable. इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल इसका क्या है द लैग ऑफ फर्स्ट डिफरेंस माइनस वन बड़ा लैग है यहां लैग ऑफ द फर्स्ट डिफरेंस दैट इज सिंपल बेटा बट यू चेक जस्ट यू चेक दिस टेबल एंड एंड राइट द डिसीजन दिस डाटा स्पेशली एट फर्स्ट डिफरेंस नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू Check the next variable, government effectiveness. View again unit two test level. Okay, so this is also st non-stationary because uh, ADF ADF test statistics values in this augmented DP full test. T statistics value is is uh, less than the Critical values, tabulated values, we accept as not. So, government effectiveness has a unit two unit two problem at first difference. Unit two problem is here. Pe.
Now we are going to the next. You can save here, you can save this file. By here, copy, copy all. You can copy and paste. Save table to this. This table cop save karna hai aapko. Save karne ke baad aapne table ko explain karna hai. Okay. Now, we are going to next variable. Cross this capital formation. View, unit rule test. At level so grass this capital formation variable is also non stationary at first uh, at level because the statistics value is less than the tabulate value at our level of solution. So we accept as not that. Cross this capital formation has a unit root problem. Now, again, go to the unit root test at first difference. At first difference, it is stationary. At first difference, it is stationary because the statistic value is greater than the tabulated value. You can see here, ignore the sign at all level of solution. Secondly, probability value is less than 0 0.01, 0 0.05, and 0.1. So we reject H naught that this variable has not a unit root problem. Okay. I'm going to close this one. Now the next political stability. View, unit root test, level. Okay. This variable is also non stationary at level because t statistics or t statistics of augmented decupular test is greater than the tabulated value at all level of solution. But a greater value is less than this. Is, this value is less than all values at all level of solution. Now we go to on first difference. At first difference, you can see that at first difference, T statistics value of augmented Dickey Fuller test is greater than the critical values, T tabulator values. Greater than Secondly, probability value is less than 1%, 5%, and 10%. So we reject H naught. This series, this variable has not a unit root problem. Now I'm going to close again. You copy the one by one. Regularity authority. Again, view, unit root test, level, done. This regulatory authority, only one variable, is stationary at level. Level is stationary again. Mean reason why level is stationary because the statistics value is greater than the tabulated value. The tabulated value at all level of solution. So we reject H not at level. Now next variable, rule of law. Unit root test level with intercept. Okay. This variable is also non stationary at level because T statistics value, but a simple T statistics value is less than tabulated value at all level of significance. This is less than at 1% level of significance mean. 99% ये चांसेस हैं कि टी स्टैटिक्स यहाँ पे यूनिट रूट प्रॉब्लम नहीं है। 99% ये चांसेस हैं कि इस वेरिएबल में यूनिट रूट प्रॉब्लम नहीं है। रीज़न क्या है यूनिट रूट प्रॉब्लम ना होने की? Because 
critical value is greater than the t statistic value. Otherwise, otherwise, because t statistic value is less than t tabulated value at one point. So there are so this variable is rule of law is stationary at first uh, is not stationary is not a stationary at level now we will check stationarity at first difference abam stationarity check karenge first difference isi variable this variable is stationary at first difference ये वेरिएबल फर्स्ट डिफरेंस में बेटा स्टेशनरी हो रहा है क्यों टी स्टैटिस यहां पे जो ऑगमेंटेड डिकी फुलर टेस्ट स्टैटिस्टिक्स वैल्यू है ऑगमेंटेड नजर आ रहा है बेटा ऑगमेंटेड डिकी फुलर टेस्ट स्टैटिस्टिक्स वैल्यू 15.70 दैट इज ग्रेटर देन द क्रिटिकल वैल्यू ऑल क्रिटिकल वैल्यू so we reject h not so we reject h not jab hum h not ko reject karenge it mean rule of law has not a unit root problem has not a unit root problem okay beta unit root problem jab nahi hoga fir hum next variable check karenge फर्स्ट डिफरेंस पे जस्ट वन वेरिएबल है रेगुलेटरी क्वालिटी जो लेवल पे स्पेसिफिकली हो रहा है नेक्स्ट वन इज वॉइस एंड अकाउंटेबिलिटी वॉइस एंड अकाउंटेबिलिटी वेरिएबल इज नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू चेक अबाउट व्हिच वी आर गोइंग टू चेक स्पेसिफिकली यूनिट टू टेस्ट लेवल ओके so vice and accountability has a unit root problem at level because we accept h not null hypothesis we accept h not because at first level of significance augmented dicky fuller test statistics value is less than the tabulated value at level at first 5% level at 10% level nazar aa raha hai beta less hai now again going to see it uh, going to see the stationarity at first difference for this variable click okay very interesting this variable is also stationary at first difference variable is also stationary at first difference so here we see that here we see that all variable are stationary at first difference except one variable which is regulatory quality estimate of regulatory quality so here we have two option you can skip this variable and apply johansen co integration what is johansen co integration johansen co integration test where you see johansen co integration co integration meaning beta kya hota hai co integration means all variables are co integrated are co integrated all variables has long have long relationship among themselves yaad rakhe beta dobara bata raha hu co integration ke meaning kya hai ke jitne bhi hamare variables hai wo sare ki sare variables aapas mein long run relationship rakhte hain agar aap level first अगर आप लेवल पे स्टेशन की वेरिएबल को ऐड नहीं करेंगे दैट इज दिन पॉइंट गेटिंग अब आप जो आंसर को इंटीग्रेशन टेक्निक यूज कर सकते हैं जस्ट 
I am giving you the idea of the answer for integration technique. Variables are given over here. You can go to the quick estimate equations. Here you will see Johansson co integration. You can find here. Please, group statistics pe jayenge aap. This is series statistics. Second one is a group statistics. Johansson co-integration test. Add all variables over here. I am not finding here Johansson co integration. Okay, we are, we are, we are okay, but sorry for that. Again, I am going to show you again. Quick option, then estimate equation. Okay. Here you find co integration regression. No one linear trends. Here dependent variables. Ah, but a problem very clear. We need to rename the variables. Okay, for your better understanding. First, you will add here. But I'm going to rename the variables name. That is very important. First variable. Rename. Control of corruptions. Control of CC, control of corruption. Okay. For better understanding, GDP, GDP growth. Okay. We can government effectiveness, one by one rename. Government effectiveness, GE, gross fish capital formation, just capital, political stability. Just PS, regulatory quality, just RQ, rule of law, just RL, RL, 
वॉइस एंड काउंटेबिलिटी जस्ट वी ए गेट इन द पॉइंट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू क्विक एस्टिमेट इक्वेशन हियर को इंटीग्रेशन को इंटीग्रेशन हियर हियर यू प्लीज इक्वेशन स्पेसिफिकेशन स्पेसिफिकेशन बेटा your specification is here first you write down the dependent variable followed by list of co integrating regressors dependent variable g d p okay the second one is cc the next one is government effectiveness the next one is capital yes next rl k rl ps va regulatory quality ko beta hum chhod rahe hain One, two, three, four, five, six variables. Okay, these variables. No need to write constant. Okay, everything is okay. Estimate using difference data. No need. Other things are no need to fill. No one, no one constant level. Here model. Which model you are going to? fully modified ols you can choose anything first fully might modified ols okay long run very is okay we are going i know i am going to click here okay so here we see the long run relationship is hold or not among the variables again quick estimate equation constant linear trend okay So have we have, we find this outcome? Simple. This is the first method. Second one is simple. You go to quick group statistics. You answer co integration test here. Okay. Now you write one by one list of very all your use. G D P G, then C C, then G E, then K, then R L, then P S, then V A. Okay. No. Okay. So this is our long run relationship. so this one hypo this one is the first one is eigen value and test statistics 
both values shows that long run relationship holds minimum at most in all equations because eigen value is a eigen value and trace statistics because here trace statistics is greater than the critical values and probability value shows that now we are going to say the equations now first two equations So, but these are the raw results, not finalized results. We will see later the outcomes. Uh, now we are going to finish this class. So, inshallah, next in the next class. But you keep in your mind, this is the simplest method. Of Johansson co integration to see the long run relationship. Agar aap ke sare variables, first difference is stationary, hai, then Johansson co integration, the best estimation method to estimate the equations. Wo estimate equation aap ki bada hai. Is the GDP growth aap ka dependent variables hai. Other aap ke sare variable aap ke kya hai, independent variable. Okay, so. Inshallah, we will see, uh, we will continue the practice uh, with these variables in the next class. Hopefully, you will understand everything. If you have any problem, I will send you the link. With this link, you will download the data. Okay, you will download the e-view and you will run the e-view and you will find one patch file. You will click on that patch file and you will run the patch and you will continue the e-view. Without patch, you cannot continue the review. That is so easy. This is very important for you to work with. Now I'm going to close the. Uh, no, delete an equation. You you can uh, give it name. For example, I I did. For example, I did close. So he said, delete untitled equation. You can give it name. So this equation will be in your. For you, you, you name question one is okay. Your question one is over here. Did delete untitled group? No, group name, group one. Save okay, it is saved in documents. Raphael. Okay, but everything is space. What we when, what we have done. Now I'm going to close our lecture. You can ask your question. If you have any problem, you can ask from.